Amazon order came in. <sighs> so, have you ever looked at boxes and looked at all the weird stickers and numbers and stuff on these things and wondered what they all mean? I do. So, for instance, what does this little sticker mean? It's obviously it's supposed to go in this square, but somebody missed. Let's just pull it off. <coughs> Who's this meant for? Not for me, of course. I'm just a consumer. <laughs> it says P Smalls S Smalls. I guess that's an I SS1. ULD plus tote. Okay, there's the tracking number. I recognize that. Then 4994. And a whole bunch of little numbers. There's the date. There's the time. Okay, so this, some of this must be for the um, shipper. The, civ the service, you know, UPS, whoever. And, of course, that's my address label, which I ripped off. And this is Amazon. But here's some more, another barcode for something. But there are no numbers on it. I mean, that was printed on the box when they made the box. And then here's another one. This is... Here. So it looks like this is supposed to go with this somehow. So like this is the actual barcode sticker. Maybe this sticker was supposed to go here or it shows. I guess it all has to do with the shipping except what's this stuff? I mean, 1BFBFQ. Is that something to do with the box size so I mean okay all the stuff that was printed right on the box was made by the box makers <laughs> manufacturers and then this actually says it's a rock 10 from Bradenton Florida box box certificate this uh, anybody ever look at this stuff other than me this single wall box meets all construction requirements of applicable freight classification. Edge crush 32 test ECT. Okay, edge, t edge, edge, say that three times fast. Edge crush test ECT. Okay, E for edge, C for crush, T for test. Okay. So in an edge crush test, it can withstand, I guess, 32, 32 pounds per inch. Huh? Maybe that has something to do with how to pack the, the delivery van or something. That doesn't make much sense. So you can't... Yeah, maybe. In other words, it can withstand... Something about up to 32 pounds per inch before it crushes the edges of the box. Huh. Size limit, 75 inches. Gross weight, I'm not sure what LT is, 65 pounds. Corrugated recycles. And, uh, okay, this, these little arrows must mean this, the equivalent of, of this end up. And some on the other side. I wonder what 1BFBFQ means. All right, enough teasing. Let's open the darn thing. <laughs> oh, I got some work to do. I've been waiting since... Almost two weeks to get my project love project life started. I had didn't have any way to cut down my pictures. So yay, I can get this going. And I found this really cute book about 
drawing figures that I'm going to try. And I could maybe use that for my the planner I've been designing. And I've got all these wonderful shipping things. <laughs> Who cares? Okay, so here's the book, Collage Couture, Techniques for Crafting Fashionable Art. I've been watching, um, and you should check out my channel for the, the um, people I like. Uh, I got Miss Vicky B, uh, and I've got, uh, what's her name, Mariah, she's pretty funny. Uh, she does, um, this is not a book, and the, um, how she, she decorates, this is not a book, and she decorates, uh, wreck this journal, wreck this journal, that's what she does, it. <laughs> she does it really well, and, um, I think I added Erit, Erit Landgraft, I can't say her name, Erit Land. Land graph. Land graph. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll have to cut that. <sighs> or not. Anyway, Gabrielle Polacco. I think that's how that's pronounced. <laughs> Got me onto this book. Um, and what she does is she makes beautiful, I mean, gorgeous collages with scrapbooking things. She makes collage boxes or um, collages on canvas. It's all just, oh, so beautiful. Every single video she makes is, she just makes the most absolutely gorgeous things. And in one of her, one of her gorgeousnesses, she has this very cute paper doll girl, which is uh, like a Prima, Prima Doll, apparently that's sort of a thing. Oh, this book is by Julie Nutting, and I think Julie Nutting is the one that created the Prima. I think it's Prima Paper Dolls. And you can buy rubber stamps of these, but I wanted to kind of just, you know, have, be, have a little more flexibility than that. But this just looks so cute, and it tells you how to make them, I guess. Yep, exactly how to make them. That is pretty. Oh, I see how to make each, each video. So there's some videos. Okay, so, all right, I see. So Gabrielle is taking ideas from this book because her videos are very cute. They're a lot like, there's one, a like, lot like this of the, Hang the dress on the hanger. But I think there's also um, just drawing. I'm, of course I'm doing this backwards. I always do. So yeah, her collages are sort of, well, they're way prettier than this, but um, they're very floral and kind of Pastel. So this is all collages. Collage couture. Huh. I thought I was going to get the other was one about drawing. I mean, I like this. Okay, this is right. Sketching a fashion figure. Yeah, I need to to start at the beginning, otherwise it, it creates less stress. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. This would be great to do on my my graph book, my books with you know gridded pages. Yeah, and the eyes. How to do the eyes? Oh, this is gonna be fun. And then you do collages after that. Okay. Play dress up with your art. So anyway, yeah, I'm excited about that. That's um, it's on Amazon. All this is from Amazon, as I have told you, <laughs> obviously. Oops, excuse me. Collage Couture by Julie Nutting. So that's the first thing. Oh, yay, I hope this will work. I hope. Just a minute. All right, this is going to be good, too. These are, I know, it's their pencil grips. 
Whoa, that's exciting. Well, it is because I have these watercolor pencils and I love watercolor pencils. I hope these will fit. They look like they will. Um, but they're, uh, they're not round, they're octagonal shape and they're really uncomfortable. You know, they really, they get me right, you know, right there. It's very uncomfortable. So I can't color in my secret garden book with, without some pencil grips. <laughs> so this, uh, hopefully that'll be a relief. So let's say there's 12. Um, I'm not sure how many pencils I have in the in there in my set. I think it's more than 12 though, but still I could put grips on my 12 favorite ones or something. And I just Oh, that's going to be so nice. Okay. And going along with that, aqua brush. Um that's also to go with my I thought my watercolor pencils, but probably for a lot of other stuff too. Assorted brush tips, and you just put water in it. Easy to squeeze barrel and unique valve system allows you to control the flow of water. Flattened barrel keeps brush from rolling off your work surface. Durable nylon brush tip holds its point. You just fill it with water, ink, or dye. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Looks good, looks good. Okay. I like it that I've got different widths of tip. Now, what is this? Oh, wow. These don't even have like a real package. Oh. This is for my pocket litter pal thing. Um, now that I have my these, my these, I can make a video about that. Ah, all right, I've been really wondering what size these are. Here, I should probably just do a hole. Okay. Yeah, all right, so you put pocket letters well, I'll do a video about that, but I was thinking at the risk of seeming crass, <laughs> I was thinking I could put business cards in these. <laughs> One pocket, I could put a business card in it, you know, maybe. <laughs> hmm, so this has no actual bag, and I kind of killed this one. I'll just put it back in here. I'll just probably put these in a binder, and so I just have them in there. Maybe I will repurpose a binder. Now this my paper cutter trimmer, finally! Hooray! Fiskars is a good company. Oh, it says world's number one craft trimmer brand. Yeah. Scrapbooking paper trimmer. All right. And of course, I got the one with the pretty flowers on it. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. It's nice to finally get my stuff. So this has a. Okay. So it has an extender. So it has an extender. So that's good. And you just, yeah, you lift this up. And this is apparently taped to it. Yes, it is. You see the tape. How did they do that? <laughs> oh, there. Okay. on the back, I suppose, for a little while. Okay, so you put your paper in here. It's, I think it's 12, yeah. It's 12 inches. 
top to bottom and that supports it. So you slide your paper underneath this sleeve thingy and then this is the blade. Ooh, that's an itty bitty blade, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, 12 inch cut length. Oh good, I do have an extra blade. I thought they said I had an extra blade. And it tells you how to change the blade. Oh, there's lots of good stuff on the back, but yeah, so you do get two blades. There's one blade already loaded, and then there's the second one right there. So let me put this sort of back in. So this is pretty much the way it was. So I guess I'll have to kind of keep that stuff together. And there one's got another box to play with. Ha <laughs> ha! The box has been accepted. It's a little big for you, isn't it? You can't squish in too well. This may not be a favorite. Apparently there's something interesting inside it. Or at least she thinks there is. There's something that I can't see that she sees. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for stopping by. This has been Merwin and Fox with a box. Have a good night. Mm -hmm.